Hey there. Today we're going to talk about a very commonly requested feature, which is the ability to mass update a field, but do that based on another field, right? So, you know, in other cases, or sorry, with the default Zoho field update, I can do it, but it's always going to have to be a static value. So I could say, hey, make sure that this field equals whatever, right? But I want to have it so I can do the mass update based on another field in the record. And so there's a lot of use cases for that. Maybe I did an import wrong. Maybe for whatever reason, these fields always need to be same for all my clients and I need to do a cleanup, that sort of thing. And so we're going to address that right here. And we're going to use the example here with form tester. And so for him here, and again, this is going to be for mass. So we're going to start with form tester and then we're going to do it with a lot of clients. But for him here, we have this field here, it's called network and right now it's showing fitness. So the field itself doesn't matter so much, but what the update we wanna do is to actually fill the department with whatever's in this field. So it could be a lot of things, but we're just gonna say, okay, whatever's in network needs to go into department. So we're gonna do that for form tester, but actually we also wanna do it for a bunch of people, right? So these are all my test clients. Let's just say for everybody here, I want to make that change. So I can go through one by one, make that, and you know, that's gonna be very time consuming. You could write a function. So a function could do that, but again, you have to learn how to write a function, maybe hire a developer, you gotta maintain it. What if something breaks? What if something goes wrong? It's all a little bit messy. And so the solution we're gonna do is something actually quite a bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a workflow. So for starters on the workflow, what I'm gonna say is I want to trigger something. So in this case, it really doesn't matter what the trigger is. So I'm just gonna say when, usually I like to do a field update. So let's just say, I know I have a, um, a checkbox called active. Let's just do that. So if it's modified to any value, actually specifically selected. So it's modified to selected. So that looks good. So that's gonna be my trigger. And then just to make sure that this only happens to the ones that I'm actually testing with, I'm just gonna say that, you know, last name contains test. Let's just make sure that that's good. And so now I have this trigger. So you'll see how we'll use it in a second. I have this last name, but now finally I get to define the action. And so like a lot of things standard in Zoho, I could do the field update, but again, this is static. This isn't really gonna help us. So instead I can do a custom action. So not just the standard action, but a custom one. And what this does, it opens up the screen here. You can see there's quite a few different flows as we def describe them. You can update a lookup, a related list record. You can do aggregates, rollups, but for this one, it's a field update, but a little bit more advanced. So that's what we're gonna do here. And then what happens, this pops up and I basically get to define my field update. I, I get to say that in the department field, if you remember, that's the one I wanted to copy it to, what goes in here. So until this moment, everything's kind of the same. You know, I could say fitness, but that's not super useful because, well, that's just a static value. If I want it to be dynamic based on what's in that field, maybe some of you guys saw it, I'm gonna use this number sign here. So I'm gonna type in that number sign and now, what I get access to is a bunch of merge takes, very much so like an email template. And so I'm gonna come in here and say network. And so now what's gonna happen is that whatever is in that network field for whatever client I'm looking at, it's gonna update the department based on that. So we're gonna hit save and this is gonna say update department with, oops, with network. So that's looking good. Let's hit save. Uh, and now that's a live workflow. So now that's working for me. I'm going to come back into here and look at my guy form tester. So I'm going to do it once and then we can see how we can do it for, for many people. And so if you remember the trigger, how I'm using the trigger is to update. The trigger is the active. So this is how I'm going to use it. I'm going to just check this box. This is the test deal. So it doesn't matter so much. So define your trigger. If you don't have a really good trigger, if it's going to mess other things up, I suggest just putting in a checkbox like this, just something you can quickly check. And so what you can see here, exactly what we expect expected. Active was checked, the workflow ran, and my department was updated from blank value to fitness. Exactly what was in that network field. So that's all really great. That's nice. That works exactly as we expected. But really kind of the punchline of this video is how to do this for many people. For some of you, maybe you already seen it, can already guess it, but really it just comes down to using kind of the default Zoho tools in our favor. So I can now check a couple people, all these people who have test in their last name, I'm gonna come in here, that all looks pretty good. And so now I can do that trigger for all of them at once by doing a mass update. And so I can come in here, do active is checked, update, 
And then, yeah, sure enough, that workflow just ran for all of them. So if I go into, I uh, forget now one of those guys, but let's just see test tester, for example. Okay, that's active, that's good. Fitness is in the network and fitness is in the department. If I look here, exact same thing happened, false to true, this workflow ran and the department is updated. So that's gonna happen for everybody who I could check. So I did five there, but you could do 500. It's completely up to you. So that's a really powerful tool. One of the really great applications of that advanced field update and the advanced field update is part of a bigger tool called WES, Workflow Enhancement Suite. So if you're interested in it, check it out here, blueroot.ca slash WES, W-E-S, has all the information you need, all the different flows that we have. Remember there's four of them, all the different things we can do, bit of a preamble, how to get started in four easy steps. We kind of walk you through it with some gifts, that sort of thing. And then, you know, reviews from top partners, and then just a, a link to download. We have a 10 day free trial. So it's all right there. Please give it a try if you are interested on that 10 day free trial. If you have any questions at all, let us know. And if you need help with any of these things, our team is here to help you if you are giving this a try. Thanks so much for watching. Again, questions, let me know. Bye for now.